when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping with him came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. I want to use for a subject tonight. I want to use a parallel and use for a subject tonight. And I want to go back and forth. I want to work the parallel back and forth. Is that all right? And I want to talk tonight from the subject, victors versus victims. Tell your neighbor, victors versus victims. If you've never heard this before, throw your hand. Well, it's been a while. If you've never heard it, if you've never heard me preach this, throw your hand up high. I want to see. Victors versus victims. I believe I want to talk about a victim being a victim. A lot of times now this has become part of our, our everyday vernacular. Young people at school, you hear it all the time now. Yeah, they want to act like they're the victim. Always you hear it all the time. But I want to talk about victor versus victims. I believe victim is somebody that has been hurt or even perhaps killed to be adversely affected by someone's actions. It means to be duped, tricked, or exploited. Victor means to def defeat the enemy in a battle and have success in struggle or difficulties. And I want to run the parallel of both of these individuals. The first thing I want to talk about is when it comes to a victim, how many of y'all know victims always quit? Victims, and I, and what we're talking about, to stay within our series, tell your neighbor the mindset of a victor. The mindset of a victim. Yes, sir. Mindset of a victim is they always quit. They have a quitter's mindset. They are always tricked into quitting whatever they start, and especially if if it's something that is spiritual, something that is God led, or it's something that God actually really spoke to them. And how many know God really spoke, and God actually gave them divine instructions, but yet. They became a victim and they quit. And one of the things that is a victor's mindset is they quit. They can't never finish anything. They're really good at starting things, but they're not good at finishing anything. Hallelujah, because tell your neighbor they have succumbed to a victim's mentality. But yet... On the other hand, on the other hand, I told y'all I'm running parallel here. On the other hand, a victor never quits. Um, they never give up. They don't get. They don't quit. They may be knocked down, but they they get back up. They have a faithful mindset that they're going to be faithful to the end. They have a mindset that I'm going to see uh, the end of the Lord. They have a mindset. Hallelujah! You remember years ago that we used to sing a song that I'm gonna run and I'm gonna see what the end gonna be. Hallelujah to God! And that was a victor's mind mindset that we had already made it up in our mind that hallelujah to God that if nobody don't get to the finish line I'm going to get to the finish line it is a victor's mentality that says hallelujah we're troubled on every side but yet not distressed it is a victor's mindset watch can I run parallel here a, a victim say can I read the statement from a victim a, a victim say we are trouble on every side a victim Victim said, "We are persecuted." A victim said, "Hallelujah to God, we are destroyed." But a victor says, "Hallelujah, we're troubled on every side." But don't cry for me because I'm not in distress. Hallelujah. We are perplexed. Hallelujah. But we're not in despair. We are persecuted. But we're not forsaken. We may be cast down. But we ain't destroyed. Uh, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor don't treat me like a victim. Uh, because God made me a victor. 
Hallelujah. Do you see the parallel? Uh, hallelujah to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Number two, I'm going to give you about 10 of them. Number two, hallelujah to God. A, a victim draws back in the midst of adversity. Uh, let it be a little adversity, a little opposition, a little trouble, a little fight. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the sons of Ephraim, what did they do, y'all? They turned back right in the day of battle, right in the heat of the battle, right in the middle of the battle. They turned back. Uh, and folks that are victims, they don't mind turning back. I don't, they don't mind writing them in. Hallelujah to God. They don't have a problem turning back. Uh, they don't mind. Hallelujah. Setback will cause them to draw back. Uh, but somewhere in your walk with God, you got to learn to deal with your setback. Uh, and don't draw back because of a setback. Uh, because you've got to understand, uh, God will make your comeback greater than your setback. The enemy knows that, watch this, y'all, that your, your blessing uh, is just beyond Jordan. Uh, he understands that your blessing is just beyond the Red Sea. But tell your neighbor, victims, press forward. Victims, victors, uh, they don't know nothing about going backward. Uh, you know what their attitude is? They have a mindset like Paul. I press uh, toward the mark of the prize for the hot calling of God. Uh, it don't matter what's in front of them, whether it's the Red Sea. Uh, it don't matter if it's a mountain. How many know they're going to speak to the mountain? Uh, it don't matter if it's Jordan River. Uh, they don't even care if it's the fiery furnace. Uh, hallelujah. They don't care if it's a den of lions. Uh, tell your neighbor, victims are pressing forward. Uh, Hallelujah to God. Victors are pressing forward. Uh, tell your neighbor, Lord, help me to be a victor. Help me to be a victor. Uh, hallelujah to God. I want to be able to press forward. Uh, I don't care what comes my way. I don't care what setback I have. I don't care. Hallelujah. You got to tell the enemy, whatever setback comes my way, you're not going to make me draw back. Uh, but instead of drawing back, tell your neighbor, I'm going forward. Uh, I'm running after God no matter what. Uh, no matter what the situation is. Uh, I'm not going to sit here with a victim's attitude and a victim mentality when God has said that I'm more than a conqueror and I am a victor. Yes, sir. Uh, victims, victims have negative and pessimistic. That's all they talk and think. Hallelujah, negative, and they hang out with negative people. Hallelujah, that's all they talk about is I can, I won't, how, I don't see how coming. Hallelujah to God, I'll be glad when God do this, and I'll be glad, just negative and, and all pessimistic mindset because you are, hallelujah, acting like a victim and, and you pamper yourself in all your pessimism. Uh, hallelujah, you pacify, you hang with other negative people that pacify you with all your pessimism. And hallelujah, things ain't going to never get better. And the world is coming to an end. And hallelujah, it's just going to get worse. And it's get worse. And, and I don't see no peace in my situation. I tried to encourage somebody one time, uh, Brother Jerry, and they told me, don't bring all that positive stuff, all that positive energy. You ain't want all that. Uh, you know why? They were they was pacified, Brother Brad, with being a victim. Uh, they had already made up in their mind that I'm going to be a victim. I don't want to be like this. Yes. Uh, hallelujah and it's full of negativity the children of Israel hallelujah to God they were full of negativity I heard what God said yes the land is flowing with milk and honey yes look at all the grapes and look at all the vegetation and look at hallelujah everything hallelujah that's growing over there they got it going on over there there's a good water supply uh, there's good fertile land uh, hallelujah it's flowing with milk and honey it is flowing you name it just get something on your mind that falls under the category of milk and honey the irrigation is good it's got a good irrigation system hallelujah the land is flowing but you know what the sons of Anak are over there but you know what the city is fenced in it's walled in ain't no way we can get in there hallelujah and they had a pessimistic hallelujah and a victim's mindset uh, and God at all the spy God couldn't find but two people that had a victor's mindset and they said hallelujah I want my mountain let's go get it yeah. is that alright yeah. because how many know positive people will challenge you 
They will challenge your destiny. They will challenge your purpose. And they will tell you, go beyond, go beyond. And they're thinking and talking. They talk scriptural talk. How do they talk spiritual talk? The Bible said, my meditation of him shall be sweet. And let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in that sight. Hallelujah, come on here. Because you've got to understand, if you are a victor, hallelujah, you hang around positive people. I want to hang around somebody that can challenge me. Somebody can push me toward my destiny. Push me toward my purpose. Go beyond where I'm at now. Go beyond what I can see. Go beyond, hallelujah to God, uh, what God has for me here. I want somebody that's going to push me. I don't need to hang around negative, pessimistic people that ain't going nowhere. Talking about nothing going nowhere. Number four, make sure you understand victims walk by sight. They go by what they can see. They have no vision. Hallelujah, they have no revelation. Listen, let me tell you something. As all you're doing is living beyond the end of your nose, tell your neighbor you have a victim mindset. You have a victim mindset. But make sure you understand a victor's mindset. Now, it said we walk by faith. The Bible said that Moses endured. How did Moses endure? The Bible said he saw him who was invisible. Make sure you understand when you've got a victor's mindset, you've got a mindset that I see God. God, I see you. Hallelujah, I see you in my trial. I see you in my tribulation i see you in what i'm going through listen y'all i got two choices i, I can sit here like a small little child uh, hallelujah to god with a dirty diaper on i can sit here with a hallelujah hole in my bottle and just sit in this one place uh, oh i can get up from here come on here hallelujah change uh, get out of this pamper and get up and walk and do the will of god uh, I can sit here and act like a big old baby. I can act like a big old child, a big small child. I can act like a 30-year-old sitting here in the pamper. Hallelujah to God and whining and crying. Or I can get up from here huh, and do the will of God. Oh God, tell your neighbor we walk by faith. Yes, sir. Victors walk by faith. Listen, because you better walk by faith because I, I'm telling you, most of the time you don't even see victory. Most of the time you don't even feel victory. But how many of y'all understand? Hallelujah to God. You don't understand. I, I see beyond what my eyes can see. I see beyond. Hallelujah to God. Make sure you understand this. This is good here. This is revelation. Now, tell your neighbor, my imagination goes places that I cannot go. It is my imagination that take me places that I cannot go it is my imagination uh, hallelujah to god that take me uh, uh, to houses that i didn't build it is my imagination that gives me money that i does not have it is my imagination if i can just tell your neighbor if i can quit having a victor a victim's mindset and a victim's imagination i can get out of this hole that i'm in uh, you say the only thing you can imagine is how you were done wrong and how they did you wrong and how they hurt you and, and past it, it just hurt so bad. Past, you, you just don't know, ain't got over here. Holly, because that's all you've been imagining. Huh? That's all been in your mind. Huh? Is that victim, how somebody did you wrong? I never could figure out thinking about how somebody did you wrong is helping you. I never could figure that out. Why would you spend all your time, hallelujah, why would you waste all your time thinking about, hallelujah, how somebody did you wrong? Pastor, you don't know. I'm just keeping it real. I'm going to keep it real. You're going to be in the pokey. You're going to be in the hole. You're going to be in the gutter. You ain't never coming out till you change your mindset. If your mind, the mind comes out first before you come out. You better change that victim's mindset. Hallelujah, because God made you a victor. Pastor, it ain't that easy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's that easy. What would y'all think? What would y'all think of me? What would y'all think of me if I walked in the church and I had on blue pants, a black shirt, a green tie, and a, and a brown hat, and yellow shoes? What would y'all think of me? He said, what's wrong with Pastor? Am I right? What's wrong with me? But the, well, Pastor, why would you tell us this? I'm trying. I'm going somewhere with this. I had the power. How many know every last one of us got the power to match our clothes up? Every last one of us got the power to try to put something on that match with one another, right? Well, just as easy it is to put my clothes on. It's just as easy for you to get your mind together. You laughing at me, but I'm looking at your mind. And in your mind, you got black pants on, turquoise shoes, a yellow shirt, hallelujah to God, come on here, and a paisley hat. 
Your mind is screwed all up because you decided you made a decision to put this on your mind. The same way you make a decision, does this match? Nah, when we put it up, it don't match. Ah, yeah, that go together. Uh, you made a decision. Well, the same way you made a decision to put your clothes on and make sure your clothes match. You made a decision, hallelujah, to think on these things, whether it is negative or whether it is positive. Tell your neighbors that simple. This is not a complicated gospel. It is not. We try to complicate it by being extra deep, but this is a simple gospel. Tell your neighbor, you made a decision. To play the victim. Hallelujah to God. Come on here. And you walking by sight. You going by what you can see. Man, I'm telling you, you can be such a victim that you never believe things going to get better. I tell you, you just don't know. Lord, they, they gonna get my heart, man, you my heart. But you know what a victor says? Hallelujah. You know what? I cried today. I cried today. But I'm going to be dancing tomorrow. I'm going to be shouting tomorrow. I'm going to get over this. Number five, number five, victims must learn to magnify the word above whatever they're going through. But see, the thing about it is you can be such a victim that you ain't even concerned about the word. You ain't focused. Only thing you focusing on is your troubles, the cares of this life. And I wrote this down, Brother Minister Brad, the spirit of obsession. You become obsessed. Oh, God, I praise you. You become obsessed about how people talk about you, your negative experiences, your failures, your disappointments, and you put these things above the word of the Lord. When somebody try to talk about the word of the Lord, man, you just shut it. Anybody want to hear all that, man? Ain't going to hear all that Bible stuff. Because the enemy has you with a victim's attitude you've got a victim's mindset you've got the attitude of a victim you don't want to hear you don't want to magnify the word of God above what you're going through you just concerned about your troubles the cares of this life nobody know the trouble I see nobody but me and me not even Jesus and me me and me nobody but me and me sees the trouble that I'm going through I'm not concerned about no word I'm not worried about none of that stuff I don't come to me with none of these catchy phrases is God's going to do it. God's going to fix it. It is well. Don't want to hear none of that right now. Right now, I don't. I just let me play the victim. It's a tough word, ain't it? But I'm telling you, those that are victors, they said word is the supreme authority in my life. I meditate in the word, not just in the day, but I meditate in the night. Not just when things are going good, but when I can't see nothing, everything is dark, I'm still meditating in the word. That's why I got a deeper understanding now why David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not do what? Sin against God. That I don't walk and have this victim's mentality. That I stay as the victim and I have a word somebody asked a question is there any word from the Lord for my situation and yes there's always a word from the Lord but you've got to walk with a victor's attitude to understand what I'm going through may be rough it may be tough but you know what there's a word for that tell your neighbor there's a word for that how I know what he said tell your neighbor I know what he said I know what he said God, I praise you. Yes, sir. I know what he said. I know what he said. Lord, help me. Help me, Jesus. Oh, God, I praise you. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. This is a quote. Y'all ready? Your complaints, your drama, your victim mentality, your whining, your blaming, all your excuses has never gotten you even a single step closer to your goals or your dream. Let go of your nonsense. Let go of the delusion that you deserve better and go earn it. Today is a new day. Can't never let it go. It's a new day. Let it go. Because let me tell you something. Those dreams that you're about to throw away 
those dreams that you're about to give up on. Your victim mentality has you whining and blaming and full of excuses, and, but you're not getting any closer to your goals. You're not getting any closer to your dreams. Watch this, y'all. The problem that we have with a victim's mentality is that we forget to see the blessings of the day. We can't see what God is doing for us today because we got a victim's mentality. How, I got a question for you. How would your life be different if you stopped validating your victim's mentality? Let the day be the day. Shake off yourself. Defeat drama and embrace your ability through God to recover and achieve and become a victor. Tell your neighbor, I'm not a victim. Not a victim. Tell him again, I'm not a victim. Not a victim. Tell him, say, no matter what I've been through, no what I've been through. I'm, a I'm a victor. I'm still here. here. Y'all ready for this? I have a history. Tell him, say, I have a rich history, a rich history. of victory. Tell them again, I have a rich history of victory. I'm not a victim. Tell them again, say, I'm not a victim. I just got a rich, long history of victory. That's good, ain't it? Oh, God, I praise your name. Watch this. You've got to understand that God has so much in store for us. That God wants to bless the believer. But in order to bless us, we've got to, our eyes has got to come open. And we've got to see who we are. And we study looking at what we've been through. You look, I preached a message one time. You got to go through to get where you're going. Tell your neighbor, God is taking you somewhere. All what you're going through is just a setup for what God is getting ready to do for you. But you've got to understand that the word of God is the thing in our life that's going to hold it together. Number, now, if you're keeping up, number six, number six, victims complain in adversity. They murmur, they faint about one good, one bad thing after another. They go through the, they, they always complaining, complaining about something, always complaining, always talking about something, complaining and murmuring. If they're not murmuring, they're complaining. If they're not murmuring, they're complaining. If they ain't complaining, they're murmuring. One thing, if it ain't this, is that. If it ain't that, it's the other. If it ain't the other, it's something else. Always. But a victor goes through their losses with excitement. They go through it with zeal and the fire of God. Hallelujah to God. Come on here. And when you are a victim, you have a why God mentality. And where is God? And what is the use syndrome? And you go through the motions. I'm here because I ain't want to pass them. They be calling me. So I'm just here. Tell your neighbor your victim mentality. You've got a victim's attitude, but I'm telling you, but in the midst of the ver why do y'all stay home and why adversity come? What are they gonna do? They don't do nothing for you. But but a victor said, Man, I'm going to church and I'm gonna really give God praise. Right in the middle of my adversity. I'm gonna really give God praise right in the middle of my adversity. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm gonna praise him in the front. I'm gonna praise him in the back. When I walk in the door, I'm coming in giving God praise. I'm gonna be the first one. Give God praise. I'm gonna be the first and the last to give God praise right in the middle of my adversity. And I'm gonna show the devil. Ah, no, 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 not this time. You're not gonna make me a victim this time. I'm gonna act like I'm a victor. I'm gonna act like who God says I am. I'm going to act like he declared my end here from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, glory. Yeah. Tell your neighbor the end is already done. Tell me the end I win. 
But right now, I just got to go through the chapters. I'm just playing through the chapters. I'm just going through these actors and factors. But at the end, tell your neighbor, at the end, I'm going to win. Hallelujah to God. Tell your neighbor, at the end, I'm going to win. So the Bible said that Job saw the whole... Hallelujah. I'll tell your neighbor, said Job saw the end of the Lord. I'll tell your neighbor, the end is coming. I'll don't you sit here and play like you're a victim. I'll like it ain't going to never end. I'll I heard, uh, tell your neighbor, he won't put no more on me uh, than I'm able to bear. Somebody rap back and say, oh, Lord. That's enough for now. Tell them and praise God in adversity. Yes, sir. Number seven, the victim. Tell your neighbor, the victim. They play like Adam. They play the blame game and they blame everybody else for their mistakes and for their flaws and for their failure. Have you ever met somebody, they specialize in blaming others. They got a PhD, they got a doctorate degree in blaming others for all their mistakes. Hallelujah to God. It's always somebody else's fault. If you would have been here, Jesus, my brother wouldn't have died. If the Lord would have showed up, if he would have held to his word, if so-and-so wouldn't have happened, if the sky wasn't blue, if the sun didn't come up, uh, hallelujah, it would it all would have worked out. It ain't never your fault. It ain't never nothing you did. It ain't never nothing. Hallelujah. I just missed it. Hallelujah. God tried to tell me and I didn't hear. We specialize. Your doctorate degree on the wall. And blaming other people. But so I tell you, when somebody's a victor, they accept the responsibility for their flaw. They expect the, they accept the, for their faults and for their failure. And they ain't got a prop. Tell you, neighbor, they, I call it man up. Yes, sir, so you man up. And to the women, hallelujah, you know what y'all call it? The new little saying now, you put your big girl pants on. Hallelujah to God and your woman up and, and say, yes, sir, it's me, it's me. David said in Psalm 51 and 3, he said, for I acknowledge my transgression. My sin is ever before me. David said, listen, it ain't nobody else fault it's mine that I slept with that man's wife it's mine that I had that man killed it is mine it is my fault hallelujah ain't nobody else fault David said I'm not passing the buck have you ever seen folk that ain't never did nothing How they act like they Jesus is second cousin they ain't never did nothing don't take responsibility for nothing whether you know it or not that's a victim's mindset but a victor say, I'll take the responsibility. I'll take it. Hallelujah to God. Come on here. This is my fault. I don't mind. Hallelujah to God. You know what? I never, if I was close to God where I need to be, I never would have been caught up in this mess. Hallelujah to God. Don't get me wrong. They played a fault in it. Hallelujah. But pastor, I apologize that I wasn't prayed up where I need to be. Because I should have saw this coming. Number eight. Number eight, tell your neighbor, victim mentality. They fold under pressure, break to pieces, crumble and crack. Yes, sir, in their emotions. You've got to understand, God controls the, pr the pressure. God controls the power. He won't put no more on you than you're able to bear, but make sure you understand. But a vi I want to talk about a victor. What does a victor do? They are perfected under pressure. Yes, sir. Uh, God makes them go through under pressure. It's tell your neighbor, they understand that the dross is being burned off. They pass the test that God gives them. That, and he gives them, when you pass the test, God gives you the authority to be able to help others and be able to counsel others. I ain't never I've seen so many folks break under pressure and they want to counsel somebody. How you going to break somebody? How you going to counsel somebody? Teach them how to cry. Teach them how to take the, 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 take the napkin out the box. Hallelujah. But you've got to be perfected under pressure. Say, you know what? I understand this pressure is here and it's here to perfect me. See, I understand. God, how many farmers we had in here? How many of you know about farmer? How many know at the end of the harvest? How many know you got to build, you got to burn the field off? Yes, sir. You got to burn up the field. How many of y'all ever went through a field and see a big old fire going on? Tell your neighbor they were burning the field off. 
but they wasn't burning it up. And that's what God wants to do. There comes a place in our life, God has to burn us off, but he's not burning us up. Listen, when you are a victim's mentality, you act like God burning you up. I don't know why you put all this on me. It's just one thing after another. Everybody else blesses it me. Everybody else. Nah, 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 nah. But somebody that's a victor, they understand. You know what, Brother Andrew? He just burning me off. Yes, sir. And you know what that what he, you know what they saying? When after this, I'm coming forth like pickle. They saying, man, hallelujah. When I when I come out of this. Lord, have mercy. Uh, tell your name is just a test. Uh, our God's gonna give me a testimony. Uh, look at your neighbor said, I've been through the water. And I've been through the fire. Uh, but the Lord. Say it with me, say, but the Lord. They get excited when they look at what they're going through. See, they're looking, tell your neighbor after, they're looking at the after. Yes, sir, tell your neighbor after this. Uh, the Bible told me that in Job 42, uh, the Bible said after this, Job lived. Tell your neighbor after this, uh, I'm going to live. Yeah, when you were victor, tell your neighbor, you see the after. You see the after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Number nine. I'm almost there. They seek completion, victims, through things and other people. Their career, their degree. And this is what they seek for their completion. They're only complete if they have a nice car, a nice house, good husband, good wife, other people, famous people in their life, people that they look up to, people that other people look up to in their careers. But victors are complete in him. They understand they're complete in the one who's able to break the seal. They, they're complete in one that's the head over all things. They complete in the one that is the express image of his person. They are complete. They seek their completion and their relationship with God and not so much with things and not so much with accomplishment, but they are complete in him. The last one. Victims hold on to people's sins. They're vindictive, bitter, jealousy, unforgiveness, and chained up. They hold on to. I ain't forgot how she did me. I still got a bad taste in my mouth. I ain't forgot. Jealous unforgiveness and you're holding on child I remember what he did what did he do I remember when he stole that money you know you know that man won't say that was 35 years ago he won't even say I still know a thief always a thief <laughs> tell you never these, these 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 are these are victims yes yeah, they hold on to people they won't release them they won't let them go they look at how somebody did me. I don't like the way, hallelujah to God. They hold on to their sins. They are very vindictive. They are evil. Bitter. Jealousy. Because you are a victim. When I see somebody really vindictive and really jealous and just evil, Brother Andrew, I'm thinking, man, what in the world happened in your life that you didn't let go? Man, you are, you are a sad sack. I mean, uh, anytime people work undercover to pull people down, and yeah, they were going to get it, but trust me, I made a phone call. They ain't getting it now. Tell anybody that's evil. That's vindictive. But I'm trying to figure out what happened in your life to make you this way. What, what happened in your life? Something happened in your life. 
But people that are victors, they're quick to forgive. They're quick to let it go. They'll release somebody. You're never justified to hold on that nobody passed transgressions. You were never justified to hold on to. Pastor, he ain't never did nothing for me all my life. Let it go. They never let it go. You can't hold on to it. You got to let it go. Because if you don't let it go, you're going to be sitting up as a victim. Yes, you're going to be a victim. You got to let it go. You've got to get the victory over how somebody treated you. You've got to get the victory over somebody did you, how they did you. You've got to get the victory over your enemy. Do y'all hear me? You got to get the victory over your enemy. I'm not telling you be nobody fool. Pastor, I don't even look at him right. I loaned him $100 and he, he, he wouldn't even get back. Forgive him. But I didn't say give him another $100. Is that all right? That's a bold soldier. That they ain't even paid you the first time and come back and want more money. Oh, it, it has happened to me before. Man, I'm some bold people. I just looked at them like, wow. And I, I mean, I hate to say this. You, they kept coming to me and coming to me and coming to me. I had got to the place, but Brad, I'm being honest with you, that I really, I really didn't want them to pay it back. Because now I know I'm done with you now. You ain't got to come back no more. Is that all right? And at one time, it was one case where they gave, they were borrowing so much, I took the money, told my wife, no, 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 just put it in the envelope right here because we're going to be recycling that same money. So actually, did not, well, I'm not steady loaning the money. It's the same money. Yeah, thanks. Put it back in the envelope. Yeah, thanks. Just recycling the same money. Ain't nobody ever looked at it that way, had they? Yes, sir. But tell your neighbor, we come to report victory. Tell your neighbor, I have the victory. Tell them, say, I'm nobody's victim. I've been through some stuff, but I'm nobody's victim. Tell your neighbor, I'm a victor. I'm a victor. And I come, tell your neighbor, I come to report victory. Tell your neighbor, we have the victory. Uh, for the Bible says that great is he. Uh, that is in me huh, than he that is in the world huh. high five somebody huh, and tell them say God is larger than that huh. tell you if I serve a God huh, that's large huh, and in charge huh. God is bigger than that huh. I know I've been through in my childhood huh, but God is bigger than that huh. I've been through some stuff huh, in my upbringing huh, but God is bigger than that huh. Tell your neighbor, uh, sometime uh, we have to look back, uh, sometime our mind, uh, we got to wonder uh, how, uh, how I made it over, uh, sometime uh, I have to wonder uh, how did we raise these kids uh, on this little bit of salary, uh, come on here single women, uh, how did I raise these children uh, all by myself, uh, pastor, uh, that old man uh, wouldn't do nothing to help me, uh, but some kind of way uh, I made it, uh, I made it over uh, with the helps of the Lord. Uh, and I said to myself, uh, I'm nobody's victor, uh, but I am the victor uh, for the Bible. Uh, the Bible says uh, that many are the affliction uh, of the righteous, uh, but the Lord, uh, oh the Lord, uh, he's going to deliver me. Uh, out of them all, huh? tell your neighbor huh? that God is faithful, huh? even in the midst huh? of my temptation. Huh? The Bible says huh? there's no temptation huh? that is common to man, huh? that God is faithful, huh? even in temptation. Huh? He's able huh? to cause us huh? to have a way of escape huh? that we're able to bear it. Huh? Tell your neighbor, huh? I've been through some stuff, huh? but I'm still here. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor uh -huh. I had to cry uh -huh. But I'm still here uh -huh. I'm nobody's victim uh -huh. There's no need uh -huh. To feel sorry for me uh -huh. Ay, 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 uh -huh. I cry uh, my last tear uh, on yesterday uh, I know uh, I don't look like uh, what I've been through uh, I've been through uh, too much uh, to become a victor uh, I've been through too much uh, the 
Bible, the Bible say that weeping may endure just for a night, but joy, oh joy, is coming in the morning. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to be all right. I heard the songwriter said that everything, everything, somebody help me preach. I need you to rap back. Say everything. Come on here, y'all. Say everything going to be all right. The Lord told me that everything going to be all right. Tell your neighbor, fight through, push through your emotions. Your emotions telling you you ain't going to come out. Your emotions telling you you ain't going to get over from when you was a child. You ain't going to get over what happened to you when you was a teenager. But I heard, I heard the Bible said that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Tell your neighbor, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, victory is mine. Tell them say victory is mine. Tell them say victory is mine. Tell your neighbors working together. Tell them say it's working together for my good. High five somebody. I'm about to quit y'all. High five somebody. And tell them say all things. They're working uh, for my good uh, to all those uh, that love the Lord. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, I love the Lord. Yes, sir. Uh, tell your neighbor, it's working for me. Uh, the devil designed it uh, to destroy me. Uh, he planned it all out uh, to take me down. Uh, he planned it all out uh, for me to become a victim. Uh, but instead of being a victim, uh, I am a victim. Uh, and I come to tell y'all uh, that ain't no weapon, uh, ain't no weapon uh, that's formed against me. Uh, it shall not, uh, it shall not prosper. Uh, go tell him. Uh, for the Bible, uh, the Bible says, uh, come on here, uh, the kingdom of God uh, suffers violence uh, and the violent uh, take it back for us. Uh, you got to tell that devil, uh, I'm coming back uh, to get my stuff. Uh, I'm coming back. Uh, I've been a victim uh, too long. Uh, I'm coming back uh, to get my joy. Uh, I'm coming back uh, to get my peace. Uh, I'm coming back uh, to get everything uh, that God promised me. Uh, tell your neighbor, uh, I am. Uh, I am a victor. Uh, the Bible uh, said this is the faith uh, that overcometh, uh, overcometh the world. Uh, even uh, our faith. Uh, my faith uh, gonna take me through. Uh, my faith uh, gonna take me under. Uh, my faith. Uh, High five somebody for the last time. Said I'm a victor. Said, I'm a victor. And I'm enjoying a victor's life. Tell him, said to the victor goes the spawn. That's why Joel, that's why Joel said, I got double for all my trouble. Tell your neighbor, God owed me double. For all I've been through, God owed me double. 